What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Enchanted by Taylor Swift. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what are the songs by Taylor Swift that you want to learn on guitar. Now guys, before we dive into this song, I just want to let y'all know I am super excited to teach this one. This is actually one of my all-time favorite songs. I love playing this on guitar. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan, so I just want to let you guys know I'm really excited about this song. With that said guys, the first thing you want to know to play Enchanted on guitar is that in order to get rid of some bar chords and keep this as beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to first fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll have a link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing you want to know for Enchanted is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then we're going to get a chorus, then verse again, then chorus again, then we're going to have bridge, and then we're gonna have chorus once more to finish out the song. And the last thing you wanna know for Enchanted before we dive into this song is the six chords you need to play it. The first one is G. The next one is B minor seven. The next one is C add nine. The next one is E minor seven. And the last one is D. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. All right, so let's get started with verse. For our verse, our chord progression is gonna be G, B minor 7, C add 9, and then back to G. We're going to play through that twice, and then we're going to go to C add 9, E minor 7, and then D, and then D once more. And that second little chord progression right there that we're going to go through is a little bit interesting because it's going to change a little bit depending on where we're at in the verse. So the first time that we go through the verse, we're only going to play that chord progression once, the second chord progression that is. We're going to play through that once. And then the second time we go through the verse, we're going to play that chord progression, the C, E minor, 7, D, D. We're going to play that twice. And that's on both verses. We're going to do that. So there's also going to be a couple different things that we're going to be doing here with strum pattern and picking. I'm going to start with, there's basically actually three things we're going to be doing, but we're going to start with the one that consistently plays through there. The one that we're using for most of this is going to be eight down strums per chord palm muted. So it's just going to be down, 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 so on and so forth right throughout that whole entire chord progression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through that whole chord progression once, a whole verse chord progression once with that simple down strum pattern, eight down strums per chord, and then we'll dive into some of the other options because there's multiple guitars playing on this. So I want to give you guys as much information on that as possible so that you can play it as accurately to the song as you can. So once all the way through that first eight down strum pattern on the verse chords should look about like this. So like I said, that eight down strums plays through really the whole entire verse. That's kind of like our first layer of guitar that you hear, but there is multiple guitars going on. So about halfway through the first verse, you hear the second guitar come in, which is a single big down strum per chord. Same chord progression as we're using, we're still on the verse chord progression, but we're using a single big down strum per chord on top of the palm muted eight down strums. So that's the second guitar but it's just a single down strum. And you guys know what single down strums look like, but once all the way through those verse chord progressions with that single down strum strum pattern that the second guitar is playing will look about like this. Alright guys, and the last thing that we need to know for verse is this little picking thing that plays at the very end right before you're about to go into the first chorus. Now again, you can play this, you don't have to, it's totally up to you because there is several guitars going on here, so you can kind of pick which one your favorite sound is. I kind of like to use a combination of all of them whenever I'm playing this kind of live or when I'm just jamming around. So this last little picking thing, it's just going to be on that last line, the C, 
E minor, D, and D, whenever we repeat that twice before going into the first chorus. What we're gonna be doing there is a picking pattern, and that picking pattern is gonna be bass note, G, B, bass note, G, B, bass note, G, for each chord. And if you don't know what a bass note is, it's just the lowest note of whatever chord we're playing. So for this song, for our bass notes, we're gonna have C, that's gonna be on your A string, and then we're gonna go to your E minor, that's gonna be on your low E string, and then D, that's gonna be on your D string. It's just the lowest note of each chord that we're playing. So what that looks like for our C, for example, is gonna be A, G, B, A, G, B, A, G, B, and then we switch to E minor. And that just plays on those last two times through that chord progression, C, E minor, D, D, right before we go into that first chorus. And then it does the same thing on the, the uh, second verse as well. So once all the way through, just that last little line right there before we go into the chorus with that picking should look about like this. Alright guys, that is everything that we need to know for our verses. Like I said, you can kind of piece that together however you want to. It's multiple guitars going on, so kind of all of that is being played at various places throughout the verse, depending on which part of the verse you're on. But like I said, it just kind of pieced together using those techniques what you want. So from there we're on to chorus. For chorus, our chord progression is going to be C, C again, G, and D. And we're going to play that chord progression three times, and then we're going to go to C, C again, and then E minor, and then D. And what we're going to be doing for strum pattern for that is going to be four big down strums per chord. We want this to be really powerful, like you guys have heard the song. It just really drives that chorus home, it's just super, super powerful. All the instruments are all in. We want this to be really loud and big, and it just goes down, 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 down really really big and really loud and this whole entire thing we're gonna play once for the first chorus and then we're gonna play it twice through all the way for the second chorus both of those chord progressions we're gonna play it twice through all the way for the second chorus and for the final chorus as well actually that very last one after the bridge so once all the way through that chorus guys will look about like this Guys, the last thing you need to know for Enchanted is the bridge. And we actually kind of have a lot of moving parts here, but it's all still fairly easy. So, first of all, we have this solo here. So I'm going to show you guys the solo real quick, but you don't actually have to play it. This is an acoustic lesson, but this is just kind of if you want to jam on that, or if you have an electric guitar and you want to play that solo, this is going to be how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to all be here on the B and high E strings. We're going to start up here. We're going to pick open B eight times. And then on that, that very eighth time, we're gonna hit that and we're gonna kind of slide from like open or kind of here one to third on the B. So we're gonna go. And then we're gonna do that eight times, third on the B. And we're gonna take that off and we're gonna go open once and then we're gonna slide that to fifth on the B. And we're gonna do that eight times. And then on the eighth time, we're gonna slide that fifth back down to open and then we're gonna play open eight times again. And then we're gonna go up to here up to high E, and we're gonna go fifth on high E, seventh on high E, third on high E, fifth on high E, second on high E, open B, first on B, third on B, fifth on B, seventh on B, whoops, seventh on B, and then eighth on B, and then we're gonna do seventh on high E, 
and uh, fifth on high E to finish that off. And that's your whole solo. That's the whole electric guitar solo that, solo that plays through that. And I know I went through that pretty quickly. This is a mostly acoustic driven lesson. I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time on the lead guitar parts for this because we're mostly focusing on acoustic, but there it is if you want to learn it. You can go back and kind of play through it slowly. You can kind of dial the speed back on YouTube if you want to. Um, but I'm gonna play through that really slowly so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna play through it once all the way full speed so you can match it up with the speed of the song. Slowly should look about like this. And one more time, full speed through that solo for Enchanted should look about like this. So that is gonna be the solo for Enchanted. And if you don't wanna play that, which if you're playing this on acoustic, you probably won't want to, what you're gonna do instead is you're gonna play this chord progression, which is the first chords of our verse as well. So we're gonna play G, then we're gonna have B minor seven, then we're gonna have C add nine, and then back to G. And we're just gonna be playing eight down strums per chord. Like I said, it's like we're playing the first half of the verse pretty much all the way through for that, except for we're not gonna be doing palm muting on the strumming, that's the only difference there. So like I said, just G, B minor seventh, and then C add nine, and then back to G, and we're just gonna do eight big down strums per chord for that while we're in the solo. But hold out because there is a second part to this bridge that plays after the solo part. So one time through this chord progression and strum pattern that we're we'll playing during the solo should look about like this. And so guys, after we finish up with that chord progression that we're playing during the solo and Taylor's vocals come in, we're gonna have another bridge chord progression. That bridge chord progression is gonna be C, C, E minor, and D. And we're gonna be doing two big, big down strums for those. But what we're gonna be doing there is we're gonna hit it really hard. We're gonna do a big down strum and we're gonna stop it right away. We don't really want it to ring all the way out. We kind of hit it and then mute it. Hit it and then mute it for each chord. And that's kind of what we're doing there. It kind of looks like this. So that's kind of what we're looking for right there. We want big hits, really, really loud, really powerful, but we want to stop them immediately. We don't want them to really ring out like that. So that is what we're going to be playing for almost the rest of that. And then at the very end of that, once Taylor stops kind of singing and it kind of goes into the, um, the part that sings like, um, please don't be in love with someone else, where she kind of starts singing into like the uh, getting leading up to the chorus. It's almost like a almost like a pre-chorus. We're gonna go back to that chord progression that we were playing for the beginning of the bridge, the G, the B minor seven, C add nine, and G. We're gonna go back to that, and then we're into that final chorus. But one last time, through those really big bridge chords that we're gonna play kind of in that middle part of the bridge, we'll look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Enchanted on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 590 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Ooh, guys, this song, man. 
man. Okay, so a lot of you guys don't know, I say it sometimes, but I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. She's one of the main reasons I started playing guitar, and I literally know how to play literally every single song she has ever come out with on guitar. I'm that big of a fan. I've seen her a couple times in concert, and I just, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. And this song is top three for me. Um, I won't tell you what the other two are, maybe someday, but this one is definitely either number two or three. But anyways, this is a beautiful song with beautiful guitar throughout the whole entire thing. I'm really excited to finally get to this song. I had gotten a couple songs, uh, requests, song requests for this song specifically, and just more Taylor Swift in general. So I'm gonna try to start doing some more Taylor Swift in general. Um, I know some of you guys have seen like on Guitar Goddess's channel, she does Taylor Swift Tuesday. And I've thought about doing something like kind of similar, like um, doing a lot of Taylor Swift songs on like maybe Thursdays, like something like that. I don't wanna copy her or anything like that, but I do get a lot of requests for Taylor Swift songs and I do know how to play a lot of them very well and a lot of cool ways to play some Taylor Swift songs as well. So I, I don't know, I wanna share more of that and just kind of more music that I love in general with you guys. Cause I don't, really, I don't always share music that I love. I kind of just a lot of times share what I think you guys want to learn. And um, I think some guys, sometimes you guys probably want to hear what I'm actually playing, what I'm jamming on and what I'm really enjoying playing. So anyways, guys, like I said, beautiful song, really great song for beginners, all fairly beginner chords here. Um, really basic stuff, really basic strum patterns. That little sh uh, solo in there, you can add that in if you're playing this acoustic if you want to, or you can just leave it out and play the chords. That's totally up to you. But beautiful song, guys. F definitely like one of my favorite of all time, easily. So I hope you guys have as much fun playing this song as I do. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all soon.